Hey everyone, welcome to my new vlog. The date today is 8th of May and it's around 9-12 am and the market has just opened, the pre-market has just finished. So Nifty is up by almost around 50 points and Bank Nifty is up by almost around 135 points. And we haven't carried any overnight positions, so we'll be taking fresh positions today. On Friday, we had a loss of around 0.8% and I will explain how exactly we ended at that point. And now we'll be taking fresh positions. So let's uh, quickly get in and see what positions we can take. I'll also try to use the charts and explain the logic behind taking the positions. So the time is around 9.25 and uh, we took some fresh positions today morning. So we started off with the 18200 short straddle because I was slightly bullish on the market. And as the market started moving higher, we shifted our calls from 18200 to 18250. And once again, when the call started to move up, we shifted the call from 18250 to 18300. So what you can see here is, so initially we started with the 18200 short straddle. And as the market started moving higher, we shifted our calls higher. So one thing you can see here is we made sure that every time our puts is always priced higher than calls because I am bullish on the market. I want my puts to be priced higher than calls. So right now, uh, as you can see, the puts are at 85 the, and the calls are at 32, right? Uh, so maybe I was little early to shift this call. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, so let's uh, wait and watch. I am very keenly looking at this level of 18,134. So unless and until we are above 18,134, I would maintain my bullish stance. So till we are above this, I will continue to be bullish. And once we come below this, I'll be changing my market view. So if we are coming below 18,135, I'll change my market view. So I'll shift my puts lower and I will convert this into a range bound trade. So till then we'll be continuing with the bullish trade. So there is uh, definitely a lot of positivity in the market and every dip is being bought into. So as I told you, uh, we had a loss on Friday of close to around 0.8% where we ended up losing around 40,000 rupees in the base account. I will also explain while I go to the office how exactly we ended up with this loss. We'll be doing another trade review by 11.30 uh, so where we will explore uh, what are the positions we have by then. So I'll be wrapping up the morning recording. So the time is around 9.30 and we have around 0.3% currently running. Hey guys, I just uh, reached office now. So the positions are going quite well. The time is around 11 o'clock. In another 30 minutes, we'll be doing the trade review. Uh, since it's raining now, uh, we'll be getting into the office quickly. And the weather is quite pleasant today, considering how hot the summer was. Uh, it started raining in Bangalore from the last week, and the weather has cooled down, and it's uh, really pleasant. Okay guys, uh, here we have Vatsa again. Uh, so Ayush is in Rajasthan and this is the new guest in our vlog that is Karthik. So Karthik takes care of uh, customer support for both Pick Alpha and uh, Target. So any issue you have, so you'll be coordinating with Karthik usually. Guys, we have a new guest here. Uh, he's Shiv Kumar. Uh, so he was working as the South Zone Head of BSC, uh, MFU and now he's the South Zone Head of London Club. Hi sir. <laughs> Shukuma sir, yeah. any message for viewers about BSC MFU? Yeah, about the BSC, uh, BSC has recently launched Sensex 30 with a bank X, which the expiry is on Friday. So guys can try that. Yeah, guys check it out, don't forget, new expiry for traders. The time is around 11.35 and we are doing the 11.30 trade review. As you guys know, we carried a bullish position and I will also show you what adjustments we have done to the existing positions. So we haven't taken much trade because the market was moving in our favor. So uh, as you can see right over here on the screen, right? Uh, so initially we started with the 18200 short straddle. Then I have shifted the calls to 18250, then to 18300, then to 18350 and then to 18400. So all I have done is just shift the calls higher and higher. Started all the way from 18200, now we are at 18400. 
So this put switch I shorted in the morning at 18200 still continues to be the same and uh, as you can see we have made close to around 0.75%. So uh, that is a great return uh, for start of the day. So still we have close to around 3-4 uh, hours left in the market. So we have started on a good note. Hopefully we will be able to recover what we lost on Friday. From there on let's try to see if we can push for any gains. So as you can see here on the charts, in case if we end up breaking anywhere around 18,270 or 280, I will be going even more aggressive with my bullish position. Maybe I will uh, end up shifting my puts to uh, 18,250 puts. So this is the position as of now. Uh, so uh, nothing much has changed uh, from past one hour. So we are holding this position almost for an hour. So uh, we'll be having another review done around 132 o'clock. Hi auntie. Hi. This is Saroja Ma auntie. Hi 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 40,700 rupees. So uh, let me just tell you how exactly we ended up uh, making this loss. As you know, Ayush is right now in Rajasthan and he was unavailable to trade that day. And uh, the market was pretty fine and we had a profit uh, of somewhere around 500 rupees on Friday and I thought uh, around 10.55. So let me come to the office, it will hardly take uh, 15 minutes for me and most likely nothing will happen in this 15 minutes. So I underestimated the market. So we had a slightly bullish position and uh, while I was driving, I really didn't check the markets because I thought, okay, VIX is also low, uh, nothing is happening from so many days, so most likely nothing will end up happening. I had also texted Ayush uh, saying that if the loss crosses 12,500, I'll cut all my positions. So I come to the office, I come to the office and see the charts, the market has crashed almost around 250 points just in the matter of 15 minutes, that to exactly at that point. And nobody was monitoring the trade, so unfortunately, Unfortunately, at that time, we went to a loss of almost around 50,000. So we never let it cross beyond half a percent, but this time it went to 50,000. And then we slowly were able to bounce back by 10,000 and we closed the day at 40,000. So we tried to fire fight. We had come all the way to 30,000. Again, we started going back when the market started to fall. And finally, I closed all the position and called it a day because something was not just right. It was not going in our favor. And then again, we are back on Monday. So this is a story on how we ended up losing almost around 40,000 on a single day. That is Friday. The Balu is here. This is fair fake entry by the way. Balu, new uh, joke please. Uh, I don't have... Okay, we'll do I, Yeah. Few weeks ago, I sent my hearing aids in for repair. Hmm. I haven't heard anything since. कैसा लगा मेरा मजाक? Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the trade review. So now the time is around 3:15, uh, uh, right? As you can see, our MTM right over here is around 29,000. So you might be surprised as to how exactly the MTM has decreased. So previously in the 11.30 trade review, we had an MTM of almost close to around 40,000, but we have almost come down by 10,000. So it is uh, quite strange that even though entire time the market has remained in this position itself, we haven't seen any kind of good decay happen in the market. So uh, the thing is, uh, there was one point when we went aggressively bullish by shorting uh, 18,300 put option. Uh, we had discussed a level in the morning, which is around uh, 70. So once the market broke this level, right? So we went aggressively bullish by shorting 18,300 put option. And after that, uh, the market suddenly came down and we had to change to 18,200 put option. So we again changed our view. So one good thing is we were quick to change our view. That's the reason we didn't end up losing much. So once we saw that the market was not doing anything much, uh, we also changed our calls from 18,400 to 18,350. So I will continue to carry Nifty positions itself. So what I will be doing, 
uh, is uh, maybe carry 18,300 and 350. So again, as you can see, I'm uh, slightly bullish on the market and obviously I can't carry so many quantity. So I'll be squaring off half of it. So during intraday, we would have increased the quantity, but as we come towards the end, uh, we will exit all the extra quantity. So meanwhile, uh, we had also bought a hedge because uh, we wanted to increase the quantity and this hedge was purely bought for margin benefit. So now what I'll be doing is again, I will be buying some hedge, but uh, this is not for margin benefit, uh, rather this would be actually acting as a hedge itself. So these are the current positions uh, what uh, we are carrying for tomorrow. So that is again going to be a bullish uh, short strangle. So we have shorted 18,300 put option and 18,350 call option that is at 77 and 41 rupees. So uh, let us see uh, what exactly the market holds for us tomorrow. So right now uh, it didn't look that great to be honest. Uh, the markets did go up and again we ended up coming down and overall the trade is more or less where we started. We today most probably will be calling it a day with around 0.6%. Let's see if tomorrow uh, there's fin nifty expiry also if uh, the current position is enough for us to recover what we have lost in the previous week that is on Friday. So with this we also come to the end of trade review. I hope this was insightful and you found this vlog interesting. Look what's happening here. Is that Mario or Luigi? Mario. Hi Mario. Oh my god, where is it? Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I want coffee. Can you yes. Guys, going to have some coffee and tea now. I'll, uh, so this is a regular coffee and tea place. So I'll introduce you to uh, Nagesh. <laughs> hey guys, uh, so we are almost coming to the end of the day and uh, today was a relatively a good day because uh, we ended up making close to around 0.7% by 3.30. Uh, but uh, one sad part is we didn't get the DK the way we expected. Uh, so even though towards the end we got some DK, we had already reduced the quantity by then. So overall, uh, we more or less made up for the loss on Friday. Tomorrow is Fin Nifty expiry. So if we have a good expiry, so we would be up uh, quite a significant amount from the loss recovery. So uh, that's the day for today. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If so, then do not forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining.